Rock Podcast. Midnight, 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 Paco. Midnight Paco Podcast. Midnight Paco. Midnight Paco Podcast. See ya, trucker, blast the trucker. Hey, hey. What's going on, everybody? Hey. Welcome to the Midnight Paco Podcast. As always, you can find me at Justin Fuller Comedy on Instagram. I am the underscore great underscore C-O-R-E-E. That's where you can find me. Or you can find us both at the Midnight Paco Podcast on Instagram. That's right. Please hit the like, subscribe. And the subscribe button. And the notifications, if you will, please share with everybody. Appreciate everybody out there listening on all Man. platforms. You know what? We, we have 300 and something subscribers, and we started from the mud. Right. It was just you and I, and and that's a great accomplishment. And, you know, other people have, like, thousands of subscribers, but yeah. I appreciate every last one of you guys. Every last one of you, man. Yeah. Appreciate you out there. Appreciate everybody that, that did hit the subscribe, all the buttons that you hit subscribed on, on those phones individually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was three hundred and something phones, and I just, you know, I, I, um, I opened up accounts on all of my old phones, and uh, no, it's it's the people in oh. contact. Oh, you know the people. Saying? Okay, I mean, we had a lot of people like out in the in the ethos on the planet that have subscribed. Yes, but the majority of the the startup man were were personal people in contact. Sure, you know what I'm saying. Sure, and I appreciate every last one of you guys. Love you all. You know? Appreciate every one of you. This episode of the Midnight Pocket Podcast brought to you in part by the Acumen Paralegal Services. Help you help yourself the legal way. The services that they offer is they help with documents that need to be typed. Guardianships, probate, divorce, wills and trusts, complaints, business organization, financial planning, and legal research and writing. Go ahead and give them a call at 216-727-0049 or 216-456-2000. Michelle White will get you right. That's right! What's up, brother? Slow motion. No, congratulations on another showcase of performers. Another hot lineup. Shout out to uh, Ryan Polk. Shout out to Clint. Jackson, shout out to I Holla, shout out to Will Hopkins, shout out to Kevin Ford, shout out to you, Justin Fuller, what? shout out to Sid V216, shout out to Tyrone Gaines, Tyrone and the Peace, man, those cats did their thing, you right. know, shout out to everybody that came up to just to show love and support, shout out to, um, um, uh, Fred Fred Shout out Fred to Fred Fred yeah He was there Derek Lamont Derek Lamont yes, His sir. wife Yes Yeah shout out to her Yeah Shout, shout out to everybody That came support. out in support yeah, And I appreciate sure. that Shout Your out sister? to everybody. My sister yeah. Regina Regina yeah Shout out to Al Al uh, yeah My dude Al He came out and showed some love Showed up and showed out I appreciate everybody That came out Yeah for sure uh, Shout out to um, um, Reggie that was the other open mic performer. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I got there late. Yeah. Yeah, I got there late. But yeah, man. Good show out. It was packed when I walked it in that It was super piece, packed and people. It was a little rough in the little, beginning. Little, you know, little no, rough. Nobody yeah. was paying attention and they had their own conversations, but then it did get better. Yeah, it did, man. I had to do some crowd control. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's expected, but, you know, it, I thought overall it was a great show. Yeah, man. Hey, that was experience right there, dog. That's when people talk about experience. Sure. And I don't got much of it. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. Let, let's let's break it down for people real quick. I, I try to think about it. So we're two years starting our third year, right? Once a week. If we're lucky. This time we you know what? go up. Once a week with exceptions because sometimes we did, you know, do our open mics and we did shows. Like even if we had to call off or make adjustments to our schedules, we, you know, but yeah. basically on a constant basis it's once a week. Once a week. 
Once a week. So 52, 104 times. We'll, we'll give it 104 times if we go once a week, 52 times. Sure. 104 times we've hit a stage, which ain't shit. Like in the grand said, scheme of things. No, but but see, like you know, you can say it like, but we. Let me, yeah, let me put the the volume down on this over here. <laughs> we actually, you know, sometimes certain days we hit several mics at one time, one day. Okay, so um, what I'm saying is it's well under 150 times. It, what I'm saying is we were young in it, but at the same time, yeah, we're definitely young into the game. But I'm just saying, I'm not, I'm not going to say that we just did. We it once. grow because certain times we hit like several mics in one night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not only that, we've had shows, and yeah, like you said, yeah, yeah. There's been plenty, yeah, plenty of double nights in Bethlehem, in Buffalo. We we hit two in one night. You know, yeah, we've done it. We've done it here. We we've had weeks where we've done the, uh, the mics, and then we and then we do a show. And, Absolutely, yeah, I understand. But in the grand scheme of things, it's two years. It ain't mostly. To work on the craft, this dude, look, he act like, I'm not I'm not saying we, we're not on the mics and doing the damn thing, obviously. Because when we come up to a party, we rock the mic, right? What I'm Pause. saying is, going back to all this, when I showed up, my intentions were to hang out and to watch because I was not on the showcase. I look like my mic is... No, that's the difference. Yo, uh, we're right here. You're good. Mine's like that, but I had to do it because it was low. Pay okay. attention to what I'm doing here. Man, I gotta pay attention to <laughs> everything. I know, cause you know how this shit just stops sometimes. <laughs> I pay attention to everything. But no, we're good. Numbers. Yeah. Our numbers. I know. I don't pay attention. Your numbers. I don't pay attention to shit. Everybody's numbers. I try not to. Nope. That's what I do. Although my, my fall at work started to get more numbers. I got 2,600 likes. Wow. And only like 4,000 views. It's weird. That's like the best liked video I have. <laughs> you falling. <laughs> me falling. Shout out to me falling and having my boy pulled up on the camera. Shout out to it's, Armando. Oh, I didn't bring, I didn't want to put his name out there. Okay, well, this not but not my what? No, shout out to him, because he's, he's the secret undercover. <laughs> okay. Ah, I'll leave it in. He don't even know. Right. He just shows up, like Mr. Deeds. <laughs> Bounces. I'll tell you what, man. He remind. I love when you meet people in life, mm -hmm. because like they remind you of other people. Like He reminds me of a Andre. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I will on a parallel universe. Exa kind of, but they do like they do same kind of work, and they're always traveling with their job. Right. Armando's single. Andre's not anymore. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like you see, it's like how people move, and it's like how it, it's cool because. It's a different life. It's a different lifestyle. Sure, sure, sure. I don't want, you know, I, I I envy it in a sense, the job, but I don't envy being away from home like that. Of course. Like this, we can go out, we can do a show on the weekend, we're back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or we can throw, hit the road for a certain amount of time, come back, refuel, go back out. You know, but that's all if you're full time. Like, it's weird that we're having these conversations, like now, because before... We hardly had any shows. Like, we started... And I we, know, right? We had no shows. No shows. We're like, how come we ain't on no flyers? <laughs> we don't do any shows. We nobody do, likes nobody us. likes us. Nobody likes us. Nobody's calling us to know, do any shows. You know shows. what it is, though? Me, 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 me. Huh? Is, is the, that's part of the networking. Nobody wants us on our show, That's man. That's how it was. Man. Nobody wanted we us on We don't get shit. no fun, and we don't get no stage time, and... Nobody likes to see us. Mirror, 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 mirror. We didn't say that shit. Oh. Why, why would you say it like mirror, that? Mirror, 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 mirror. We were mirror, 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 mirror. Nobody wants us on the show. What mirror, is he mirror, talking mirror, mirror. about, people? I don't... We ain't been on no podcast. Mirror, 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 mirror. We were on a few. We, we still ain't been on a bunch, but... We've been on quite a few podcasts. Quite a few. 
and the story hasn't changed. I actually got, I actually got him on my website, people. I'll give you an hour. Justin Fuller. <laughs> yeah. It ain't changed. I'll give you a good hour. This guy is diva as fuck. Not yeah. diva, just an hour. No, because if the conversation's going longer, I'll sit there forever. I'll sit there for an hour. Well, we had chat here for almost an hour and a half. Over an hour and a half. It was like an hour and 40 minutes. That's different. That's that's different. Yeah. We was ch- kicking it with Chad, and this is, my sh- this is my show, like it was your show. This is true. And we did that. But if I come on your show, I'll give you an hour. Oh, this dude, look. He'll give you more. Because if I'm there, well, if I'm there, it'll probably be more, because I'll keep talking. And he'll start getting fidgety and start messing with shit, but... Or not say anything. Or not say anything. He gets in those moods. You see it all the time. If you watch, you see those times where he just shuts down. There'll be times I'll start talking and just like. Because after an hour, I turn into a pumpkin. And nobody wants to see me turn into a pumpkin. I kind of want to see you turn into a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? I will be orange. No, I'll he won't. On my head, and I'll no, turn into a pumpkin. No, he won't. I will. Those are lies. It's true. Lies. It's true. Lies. There um, will be no more cool see. I'll be a pumpkin. I won't be able to perform because I will be a pumpkin. You haven't performed in how long? A week. More than that. I did open mic. When? We didn't go last week. Oh. Well. <laughs> This one was like a few weeks. Hosting is a performance. I don't uh, care what you say. Ah, you. I had to talk. I had to introduce people. I had to get the crowd involved. That's a performance. You did no material. Did I? No. No. My material is in my introduction. <laughs> yeah, this guy. He puts on a great show, people. Thank you. You do. Yeah, man, that's like I said, you keep in contact. Network is a big deal. And like I said, we, uh, you know, it's just like you meet people, like in shows and things like that. I love everybody we've met for the most part. Sure. We, we've had great interactions with a lot of people being in comedy. And it's like a whole new world I had no idea about. Sure. But I've always liked. And it was always what I, I kind of envisioned. It's like, you're going out there, you're doing a job, you're making people laugh, and you're having a good time. And that's what life is all about, man. It you know was not an easy road to travel, I'm telling you, it's not. Oh, of course not. No, no. It wasn't nothing like I expected. I, I thought, like, we're comics. We in a room full of comics. It's no. going to be a great time. Everybody's right? going to be laughing. Yeah. Shoot jokes at each other. Right. Look at this, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> laughing. <laughs> Yes, but no. not that at not all. Not at all. People are like they're very competitive. They're self-conscious about their performance. They want to know what you think of them, and they like to hear compliments. I mean, it's you know, it's all human things, but it's it's like I don't really see any of the other comics as competition mm. at all. At all. Um. At all. You know what I you know what I think about all the time is Joe Byers. Okay. Hot he, breath. Hot breath. He's one uh, honestly, because when you watch all this, he's all about helping. Unfortunately, he didn't do a lot of networking. He even said that in, in the, the beginning, beginning. In the beginning. In, in the beginning. In the beginning. In the beginning. Which he he said he wasted a lot of time not doing that. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. But he's always about helping comics it's not about competition it's all about helping one another and and you know going it's 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 that open network that helps look big rich shout out to big rich shout out to rich green you see my shirt yes that that is i love that thank you sir appreciate that man i've been rocking the justin fuller shirt this ain't the first time not at all we rock our we rock our each other's shit you know what I'm saying? I rock. Anybody that got merch, any of the comedy uh, comedians that I mess with, I'm wearing their shirt. I had uh, Impossicalities. I'm going to rock that shit in a couple, you know. And that's Chad. Yeah, I had his yeah, shirt last night. Shout out to I Am Chad Chad Shout Pete. out to Chad. Hey, speaking of which, March 30th, one week away. 
Man, if you're in that area, one week away. I'll be there. Oh, you my should God. be there too. I can't wait. Can they buy tickets at the door? They can buy tickets at the door. You can get them online if you see any of the links on any of the posts, because uh, they're two for thirty-five, I believe. If at the door is twenty-five bucks, so I got my tickets already. You already got the tickets, man, and I ain't got no more tickets. I'm sold out. My tickets went, so that's cool. You know what I mean? So it's it's good. We're gonna have a good turnout, I think. I think you will. It's gonna be fun, man. It's gonna be a hot lineup. Who's on that lineup, man? Man, you got Rich Green. Boom. Hosting the thing. Rich Yo. Mother F and Green. Yes, sir. Who else? You got Britain Grace featuring. Britain Grace. Shout out to Britain Shout Grace. Shout out to Britain Grace. I'm featuring. Justin Fuller. Yo. And you got Mr. Chad Tate. Chad Tate is headlining, right? Headlining that most. Man, shout out to Chad. Shout out to Chad, man. Funny guy. If check out the episode. If you if you don't know, check out the episode with Chad Tate. Look, man. I'm honored to be on this. Head. Look. Rich is a touring comic. Rich is a big gun. Touring comic. Britton Grace is hosting. He's hosting? I, but, I thought look. Rich was hosting. No, I'm talking about at like improvs and doing. Oh his yeah, Britain is definitely yeah. doing his thing out in crack pots yeah. and everything else. Yeah. I mean, he's at the improv too. Yeah, shout and out to Br- yeah, know, Britain doing his thing. Yeah, Chad Tate headlining. Man, that dude. And I'm telling you, people, you if you don't know this dude, look, look up everybody we just named. You can't go wrong. You if can't you, go wrong. Look you, up all of them. I'm gonna have their links in the description below. I'm just saying, every time I put up, I talk about the shows or, or Grown Ups, I always put links in the description nice. how to get there, who's on, you know, who was on the show. Yeah. Like Will Hopkins, I'll put, all, those, Will I'll Hopkins. put all those, you know, Tyrone, Tyrone everybody's stuff. Everybody, I holla. I holla. I'll put all Sid, those B216. stuff. Sid, Sid, I'll put all those description in the, in the description. So you hit know, the link. Kevin Ford. Kevin Ford. You know, I love the jacket. Yeah, yeah, the day of business, yeah. Jack, that, shit, that, <laughs> that was shit hard. That was dope, yo. It was hard. Yeah. Bro. But you know what I'm saying? It's, it, look, uh, and that's why I'm saying I'm rocking the, the Rich Green sweat hoodie right now, you know. And I am rocking the Justin yeah. Fuller comedy shirt. Man, that's they're dope. available online. If yeah. you like this, if you like the way I look in it, you'll probably look way better in it. Ooh. Order you one. Yeah, but come out and see the show on March 30th, people. Oh yeah! Check out all the links, everything you know. I'll be posting on Instagram and everything. You know, can't what I'm go wrong. No, it's gonna be a good time, man. I can't wait. You know, what I'm gonna do. You know my set. You know which one I'm gonna do already. I'll be there to watch on. your set. You already know. We've been, we've been doing it. It's fun, man, because you think about the time. Like like I said, we have 25 minutes. We have feature time. We have an hour. You know, one hour. You know, guys. All I need is one hour. Listen, people. I love his confidence. I really. You love my truth. No, I love your confidence. My truth. No. I mean, I could probably talk for an hour. Don't get it twisted. You already know me, people. I can talk for an hour. With my material, I have at least a half hour, maybe, but it's not crafted at all. And I didn't do it not once all the way through. You would stumble and stutter and uh, him and haw through the fuck. That ain't a fucking performance. That's not a performance, people. You want to be crisp, tight, ready to rock. Everything you fucking say means something. Look at his face. Look, I go up there. I go. Up, I can. We already know you can go up there. You ain't got an hour. I've seen all your sets. <laughs> he stretches shit out though. Look at him. <laughs> What? Go down? Come on, man. What <laughs> the fuck? I got an hour, yo. Oh, my Lord. I and, was with and, you on and, 25, man. And I was with you on 25. What's five minutes, bro? 25. What's five minutes? That's okay, 30. half hour ain't shit. All right, say but 30 feature, then. Why would you say 25 The then? feature time is 25. 
feature time is whatever you 25 to 30 15 mostly, to 30 mostly 25 isn't it man 15 to 30 well yeah we got that all uh, day there and we, we got that I have an hour you doing shit I don't know about I have an hour what the fuck are you doing an hour you doing burlesque shows or some fucking hour go ahead headliner hour well let's go let's start fucking send your shit out so you can headline and I'll feature why the fuck are we sitting in my goddamn studio studio. (laughs) our studio why are we sitting in our studio the midnight Paco (laughs) studios bam that's right best basement in the world (laughs) you don't even know hidden gems yeah undercovers you don't even get it you should not put your insecurities off on me no hey you don't think you have an hour go ahead I don't you're absolutely correct I don't you do no I don't we have an hour I would love to have an hour tight I don't if I do I need to outline that bitch and figure it out then you need to help me figure out where my hour is not now. Not now. We'll save that for later. Because <laughs> I know what my 25 is all day. Your 25 can be an hour. Especially if you do if you do everything that I... If, 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 if you said help you out with an hour... I mean, I got to stretch it out. F that. If you said do... If you say help you with your hour, that means you, you, you have to listen to everything I say you have an hour. Well, the problem is... No, look. See, I have... Okay. 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 This dude can twerk <laughs> for five minutes. His <laughs> twerking can last for five minutes. <laughs> I was about Take to your say- fucking Advil or your painkiller, whatever the fuck you got to do. I was just about And your to twerk say- set can last for five minutes. I was just That's a- five minutes gone. I was just about uh, to say- he said he had 30... He said he had 30 minutes. So the twerk has turned to like 35... All right, and, okay. if, and if you do everything I, t- you know, I suggest. No, look, I mean, if forced to be on stage, put it like this. Okay, if forced to be on stage for an hour, I could probably do it, but I would go off on tangents, and I would. You wouldn't have to go off on tangents. Just th- th- like all, 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 of, all of the suggestions, tangents like a mother. All of the suggestions I would, that I gave you, I would you have to did. do mushrooms. And smoke and just enjoy myself. Mushrooms and abortions is going to be hilarious. Hilarious. Shout out to Greg Moulton. <laughs> if you did everything, like all of my suggestions, how I said do it, you got an hour. I ain't hour. got time for that shit. Unless you I'm, got an hour. Unless I'm booked for that. You have an hour. I ain't got time where we So now it time. goes from him not having an hour to he ain't got time. Look, I'm doing 10 minutes at the show, people. That's That's cool. You already come 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 check me out and do ten minutes straight. That's what's up. The truth is coming out. Yeah, I didn't know what the hell that dude was saying in that damn thing. That's how much you've been listening to that shit. I like it. Yeah, you know what? Speaking of which, I said I was gonna bring this up. You were talking about like Patreon or like other like the shit that we do off camera. And talk about off camera. If we film that, that's Patreon worthy right there. Big time. That's worthy of people paying money for. This this probably is, save it for Patreon. Oh, for sure. But we'll think. We're th- so are we thinking about that? That's up to you. No, it's not up to me. Let let go. Let go. No, no, no. Let go. No. Let go. No. Let go. It's go time. Let's no. do it. Come on. No. If you, if you hey, look. No. Leave, leave the comments if you guys no. are see it. Because so. you guys already see me on the camera. How I am. So you don't know nothing about. Woo. You going to let loose? Hey, if people want to pay for it, they want to see. They, if they want to see some behind the scene thing. <sighs> Get the fuck. Hey. People. Alright, check it out. We might, we may. 
Cause I have an idea of so I could set some shit e- up all day. E- yeah, you know, if if you we, know what Chad said that shit. Oh yeah. Shout out to Chad. Shout out to Chad. If we if we um yeah the Patreon thing, you would definitely not That's be cool. disappointed. Oh, you'll see some all. behind the scenes midnight Paco stuff. You'll see us here before the show. You'll see us at the club behind the scenes before we get up. Why? <laughs> right. Some of the shit this motherfucker, <laughs> this cat. We, I like to have fun, you know. I like to make, take smoke breaks, so I may even talk to you while F I'm out there. That. I may no, even, you I need may to even, stay your ass. I may even talk there. to you while I'm out there having a little smoke break. That'd you be dope, you know. but you no, may, you, may, you, you may even get a conversation. If I sit through some of those acts, you need to sit there <laughs> through those acts as well. What? Look, no disrespect, because there's some acts I've seen, and they're my peeps, and I'm not, I know them, and I like them, and they're funny, but I take some time advantage to take, because because it might be right before I'm about to go up, and so, I need so to what, am, what am I doing? You don't smoke. So what am I doing? You're sitting there watching. Probably talking shit to yourself, or laughing or giggling or taking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people. Yeah. So hey, I'm look, just saying we look, have fun. Look, we have good look, times look, out. Look, at, at the open mics, and you know, I'm I'm waiting for the acts. And look, look, hold on, hold on. Yes, it's an open mic. Sure. But it's at a club. Sure. When we're doing this. Sure, thing. of course. You know of course. Why not? Sure. And it's a show. Of course. Of Twenty motherfuckers to go up. And this dude goes out on a smoke break. And I go out on a smoke break during some of them because, look, I got to go up sometimes towards the end. And I smoke right before I go in smelling like... Fun. Fun. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I don't, I'm not in the beginning. No. Oh, of course not. So you sit through everybody because you don't smoke. That ain't my fault. I invite you every time. You got jobs and shit. Sorry, those are laws. Right now, my job don't require, but you know, I may be looking. Keep a close eye when the door is out. You don't even know. No, I'm making businesses, I'm making business moves. I'm doing shirts and designs. And, Man, you know, look, check this out. If you need t-shirts, you need help with a logo, yeah. you need business cards, you Word. need flyers, Word. digital or paper flyers, holla at this dude because he's Man. a beast out there. I'm working on if, it. If y'all seen my flyers, right? if you've seen our business cards, right. man, this dude got with A-lister clients and stuff. Are you kidding me? Hey, that's our boy. I can't even... Yeah. It don't matter. It's an A-lister. It don't A-lister matter. A-lister all day, baby. He got A-lister clients. Yeah, this yeah. dude is putting in work, and it's worth it. It's worth it. If he cut, if he cut you a deal, he cut you a deal. But I'm just saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. every penny is worth it. His stuff is, is, is premier quality. It looks dope. I'm sure you'll have a personalized uh, logo, business card, set up with freaking... What's the QR code joint? QR codes. Whatever baby. you want. Whatever you can imagine he could he could create. Man, holla at this dude, man. He dope. You know You'll saying? be a fool not to. Yeah. Hey, I enjoy it, man. It's like I always you look at YouTube shows you how to do shit. It don't matter. Like you could do all the work, you could follow all the steps, but it ain't gonna be no Justin Fuller product. Oh, that's what I'm saying. It don't, it don't matter no. if you look at YouTube all day or it's just, every day. It's just like you just, well, what I'm saying is, is people find interest and, and and you think about the things in life, what gear you toward. You know what I'm saying? Look, I went to college, right? My degree was communication media studies. Okay, back then, before all this. Before we met, you know what I thought about doing? Working, videography, doing like uh, for like a NFL team, Mm -hmm. football team, Mm -hmm. doing all their behind the scenes shit, highlight videos, all this shit, website, maybe, you know, being on the radio, talking about sports or just talk radio. Talk radio was really my thing because I figured I could sit there and talk about anything. I have a wide range. This is what my thought was. So classes I took, right? Audio, video production, 
was like one of them, which got me into like graphic design and things of that nature and blah, 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 blah. But therefore, I, I took and implemented it. And then I started like, and, and from there, because I like making graphics, I made a shirt for my sister, like a design. And I had it printed at the mall. And it cost me like $40 just to have it printed on a shirt. And I'm like, what the hell? How do you do that? And I watched how they did it. They just printed it out. So I started looking. How do you do that? And so I started like, okay, how do I just do shirts? And I started trying to figure out how to screen print. Like mm -hmm. make your own screens and burn the image and all that shit. That was too hard because if you do like one shirt for all the colors and blah, blah, blah. So then I started looking into vinyl and... Dude, my pro you know when we first met, the shirt I made was like out of fucking... <laughs> I just made the image and printed it on the thing and, and pressed it. Mm -hmm. But the other stuff evolved. You know what I'm saying? The more steps I learned, it's like all these things I've done have, have helped from where we're at now. Because it's like I can hire... You, people have to hire out for all this shit. Thank God I have a lot of the knowledge and we're just... Bam, it's me and you. So... After all that he just said, at the end of the day, <laughs> like you can follow the steps or everything that he say do, and this is what it would look like. You ever, you guys remember Bob Ross that made yeah. made happy little mistakes, yeah, and pretty cr clouds mm -hmm. and happy clouds and things yeah. like that. It's like trying to follow Bob Ross. All right, you have your your paints, your 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 easel and everything, and and you you'll do exactly he do what he does. And at the end, his painting will look like a masterpiece, and yours will look like the pictures that the psychiatrist show you. Like, what do you see here? <laughs> so this dude is the truth. No, but what hey, I'm saying you, is, you can't go wrong with him, regardless of what he's talking I'm about. I'm a professional, is what I'm saying. By the time I graduated, that's ten years ago. That's twelve years ago is when I graduated college. Okay. So I've had twelve years of experience. Okay. Well, that's the reason that's why your stuff I'm is saying. dope. Your stuff is I'm dope. I'm a professional, but I don't have a job in you. I'm doing it. He could create his own job. He Dope. just have to, you know, just, hey, just hit him up if you need some work. Boom. That's, that's it. That's, that's all. what I'm saying. Boom. That's just self-taught. That's that's degrees. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. Okay. I got my self-taught degree in fucking all this shit. Yeah. I love it. Yo. So hit me up, mother suckers. Love you all. <laughs> but yeah, all, just speaking about all, offline stuff, dog. people the conversation we had look we had a whole podcast before we started this podcast we had a whole podcast before he's a, are you afraid to get into it no I ain't afraid to get into it you wanna get into it a little bit Go ahead. Aliens. <laughs> <laughs> no. What you say goes back to what I believe kind of... I believe everything. So I love how you think as far as what's going on in the world. Kind of like... Like nobody knows what the hell's going on. Uh, what you just told me. About Farrakhan. Nobody knows that. Because for one, I don't watch TV. So I don't I, watch TV either. So I don't know about nothing. But you know about this, and I love it, and you're afraid of it. No, I'm not afraid of it. You I'm don't not, want it. I'm not afraid of it at all. No, it's just that, you know, like the, 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 the signs are on the wall with all the fires that's happening all over the world, you know, the derailments or whatever. You know, all the signs on the on the wall, um, a lot of things are being, you know, like... The Honorable Farrakhan. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Yes. So it's like all, all of the things are, uh, you know, everything that he said is, is coming to light right now. Um, you know, the starting of Ramadan was today. Okay. Yeah. Is that when you found out about all this today? Is that when you heard it? I mean, you knew about everything, but... The, well, the no, stuff you told no, me no, today... No, what, what basically did, that sort of alerted me was that... You know, I was on Brother Ben X's uh, live, and okay. he was broadcasting, you know, uh, Honorable Louis Farrakhan's uh, speech, and it went dead. Okay. And everybody was like, well, 
We can't hear no sound. We can't hear no sound. And it was being broadcast on several networks. And it was like a dead silence across the board. Right. So it was interrupted. I don't know if it ever came back up. Or, you know, I had to do other things, but I, I okay. couldn't stick around for it. But, you know, one of the last things he was talking about was the wheel. He was talking about the wheel. And what the wheel is, is the mothership that the news is just now, you know, kind of acknowledging the existence. Yeah. But we've been seeing it and seeing videos, you know, for the last couple of years or so. Of a mothership. Mothership and the other ships. Yeah. The mother ships and the other ships. It's like 150 of them, and those are fighter ships. Right, right. And, you know, people have been seeing those. And the, the mothership, and the way it's explained to me is the mothership, you may see it, but you might not see it. The way it's explained to me, it has the ability to appear to look like it's over there, but it's really not. So that's mm. how that goes down. So if you actually see it, you may not be seeing it. But the other ships, and they're want, they're being seen because they want to be seen, and and it's been documented that they've been seen like pretty much all over the United States. I mean, you, right, you right. can look it up and do your own research. Yep, yep. Um, and it's about to go down, and all the writing has been on the wa wall. Um, you know, just not the wheel and the the ships that has been appearing. Um, in addition to that, the natural things that's been happening. Right. The tsunamis. Mm -hmm. Some of the fires. Right. Um, a tornado in LA that normally gets earthquake. <laughs> this this weather. Weather. You know, so basically what 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 does the global warming and everybody talks about global warming and why is that such a big deal? The the big deal is because during harvest time when things is time to harvest and it's not because it's snow on the ground. Oh yeah, we're in trouble. Yeah, but we depend on wheat and corn and a lot of resources for to survive on. And the fact that things aren't growing when they should be, then we're in trouble. Yeah. And then you get distractions like the Will Smith slap, the Trump being arrested, mm. are all distractions. Those are distractions to take away from what's actually going on. And what's actually going on is, you know, is ultimately a little bit by little has been displaying a food shortage. So, it's like, you know, you got to... Is that greed or, or control? It's the inevitable. Because think about this. Some some people call things, you know... We'll go back to, like, the Vietnam War and the false flags that got us into the Vietnam War or, or things that they, 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 uh, they make happen to make things seem a certain way, but they caused it. So, they're willing to blow some shit up to get into a war and kill innocent lives and you think they're they're willing to like like kill a bunch of animals or like uh poison some shit or 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 just famine some shit to to try and take well, famine, famine famine is about the uh, it's, it's about it's, control well you could the, you could say it's a way to gain control from people but you could say is you know it's to gain control but it's all written you know everything everything is written well, wow. and 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 it it says that this is going to happen. And famine is one of the stages. Okay, so so you well, so to, bring it. No, not bring it because it's 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 a, it's a, it it is it will have a negative effect on everybody. Well, it's going to look. Things happen in history, and there's no control because, like you say, the, the the temperatures. But guess what, man? Shit's been happening throughout history over and over. The way the Earth moves is the way things are, and it's just. Well, put it like this. I mean, we've we've put we put a, humans in general have fucked up the earth. Don't get it twisted. I'm not saying we haven't caused anything. No, 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 However, no. However, let, let's, let, let's just say what it is. Let's just say what it is. Let's not bullshit and let's cut through the chase. Space junk. Oh yeah, it's yeah, fucked yeah. up the earth. Right. And who's responsible for that? Well, yeah. Well, not necessarily yeah, all necessarily. space junk. Yeah, necessarily all space junk. It hasn't ruined the Earth. Like you don't think it has? If you don't think it has, Google a picture of space junk. And oh, even, even even if it looks like it's not true, you, you have to know and realize that 
the actual images. Oh, it's just terrible. The actual images of the Earth that they show on these Apollos, and right, like when right, they show right. the Earth, right. and I've been screaming this for the longest. Like when they show the Earth, and they might have like one or two satellites orbiting the Earth. Oh, you know that's bull. Oh, okay. So basically, if you don't believe me, oh. if you have a GPS, your GPS will tell you that either your GPS is offline or it's connected to. Three of the 30 right, satellites. Right, 300 million that are up there. Satellites, like, and that's the well, U.S., and each country has a, a satellite. All right. And it's for different things. And you got, got one for GPS. Multiple. You got one for, like, uh, maybe for GPS, one for, like, the cable networks. There's satellites all over. It's, don't it's, think about the undercover military. Well, well, like well, okay, well, so that's, just, that's just the U.S., but every I country know. has different satellites. Sure. And then when they break down or they, they, they stop working. Up there. They just stay up there. Yeah. Plus, they launch shit up there. And they launch the, they, stuff they up there. They blown fucking nukes up in space. So, so, so this is what I'm saying. Like, so if you don't fucking think dummies, if yeah. you if you look at if you just Google space <laughs> junk on the planet Earth and see that image, and you don't think that's affecting the climate, if you don't think that's affecting the ozone, if you don't think that's affecting, I'm not saying it's not, but it's not affecting it to the extent where it's not going to happen anyway. Huh? It's going to happen anyway. It's sick. It's cyclical. 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 It's gonna happen. I can't anyway. help you with that word. I know. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna happen anyway. It's just. It's I'm saying it's the inevitable. Happen. What I'm saying yeah, is, it's always happening. You don't think in history. That has that has to do. Th think about it. It's think about the Earth and the rotation. Think the way it rotates around the sun. Think of all of the uh, the the nutrients and everything that comes with what we're supposed to get from the sun and how it's being blocked by all that space junk the things that's supposed to happen is not happening if you don't think but the space some would say the radiate the the ozone layer is breaking down and the radiation is going to bust through quicker i mean if you think about it you don't think the space junk is is a reason for that that's not what it is okay it's just it's just okay it's just that's it's like just, saying like if we need vitamin d natural vitamin d from the sun and you got you completely covered oh we're fine with a sauna suit with several sauna suits you're not going to get anything you're supposed to get from the, the natural sunlight of course yeah. that's like saying that you like the space junk is not interfering with anything like saying I'm you're living saying in like saying it's not you like living in like a, a seven layer or eight layer a greenhouse and you're not going to get the, i'm not saying it has no effect i'm saying it's not to the effect where it's it's not going to happen anyway. Well, it's I understand what you're saying, the inevitable, anyway. but I'm just saying yeah. that's, that's that's one of the main it's, reasons for a lot of things. That, of it things can that, definitely change the atmosphere, yes. But what I'm saying, it's not the main reason. What's shit's the main gonna, reason? Shit's going to happen fucking anyway. Mm. It's just they said, because at one point, I think it was like in 2020, the Earth hit the galactic, galactical equator. Which means the poles were supposed to start shifting any fucking way. Which means shit's supposed to get fucked up anyway. Which is all biblical shit. Which is all tied into things in history and things that people talking about the Noah and the Flood. Yeah, that shit happened. You know why? Because shit happened on Earth. Because of fucking just things hitting it and bombarding it and fucking smashing into Earth. Comets fucking smashing into Earth and fucking shit up. And took our fucking civilization back to goddamn caveman era like this look man when you think look when they found shit etched in stone with anunnaki came down from planet nibiru and mixed the dna with primates to create a slave race to mine gold so they could go and spread it into their atmosphere we didn't make this shit up this is shit that was found that was dug and found etched in stone. That, that was the history. And when they say the first man and women, the way that it's, it's, it's translated is Adam and Eve. When it's broken down in the translation is Adam and Eve. So they take that knowledge, they take that information, where we created, but dude, so from then on, like they talk about the Egyptians and the pyramids, we talk about how like a lot of, a lot of people say that the Egyptians just came into the pyramids. Like, they didn't create them. They were built by gods or, you know, aliens. Because we looked at them as gods, but they were aliens. They were other people from other places, not necessarily gods, not to dismiss God. 
because something God obviously created aliens or God created whatever or something or something. <laughs> But there's different dimensions, dog. There's so many different aspects of this world, and it drives me nuts because we talked about it. When people go outside and their everyday mundane life and ride my ass because they're late for work. <laughs> this world's nuts. This world's nuts. Climate has a lot to do with it, but a lot of shit's happened because of climate that destroyed this fucking civilization and knocked us back and and and. And people left before all that happened, which ties into the the honorable, you know, Louis Farrakhan, and what you you talk about the wheel and everything coming to the the terms, and they talk about the Bible and the revelations and the the coming and back of, and I'm waiting for it, dog. I'm waiting for it. Well, I'm waiting for it because look. Everyone else is stuck in this fucking mundane shit. I get it. Let's go to work. Let's do this. Let's do that. I want that. I want this. I want to buy for this. I want this. Materialistic shit. Guess what? You die. You die. You fucking die one day. And guess what? All that shit you wanted and you buy is gone. You don't get it. Somebody's fucking fighting over it. Somebody's sitting there saying, oh, I want this. Is it left in the will for me? Is it this and that? Is it, what does he leave for me? You know me? what? My, my, you know, just to piggyback on what you said right quick, you know, my cousin said, whenever a family is grieving, you better believe somebody is thieving. Oh, you ain't lying. Yeah. But, you, ain't lying. you know... And it drives me nuts because we're only here. Fuck. Dude, what? 40, 50 years if we're lucky? 50 years. 50. That'd be what? Well, that, mean I got, that mean I got three years left. If you said we only here for 50 years. No. I'm saying more. Uh -huh. 50 more years. 94. Uh -huh. I'm hoping 94. I'm not making it to 94. But you I'm might. hoping 94. You might. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. That, Let's that, hope it. That, that date is already... Written in, in books. Exactly. So, you know what I'm saying, man? It's like, I mean, it yeah, it, me it, nuts, it just, man. you know, and, and at the end of the day, it's like we all have to do work. We all have, we work all have to, do. to work. I get it. Um, I'm, and I'm talking about on ourselves and, yeah. and try to do what's right. And, you know, but the, the writing is on the raw, wall, people. So that's what I'm saying. Maybe it'll wake everybody the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? And Because, look, I'll tell you this. The power goes out, give it a week. I mean, give it three days, really. But give it a week. See how many motherfuckers are fucking, yeah, worried about going to work and bullshit. No, that's the real shit. That's when survival kicks in. That's when motherfuckers are really robbing and killing and motherfucking thieving. That's when you better have ammo. <laughs> you better have some type of protection. Because this is going to be Mad Max in this bitch. Think about that, dog. All it takes is the power to go out for a fucking week. That's scary. You want to talk about scary? I don't want to fight nobody out there. That's scary. You know what I mean? But nobody thinks about that. And they don't think about all the like, dude. Which is a crazy, because all it takes is somebody to plot some shit to try and take out grids and everything like that. You know, thank God we have military and we have things and things that... Look, you think about history, right? Well, basically, was was about to go down and the writing's on the wall, the military... The, oh, it ain't gonna help. The, 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 uh, the, 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 ain't gonna help. the, the wheel and the, and the things that the, the ships have already displayed what they can do, um... And they claim they shot down uh, something uh, unidentified, whatever, a couple of weeks ago. Okay. But that's, yeah, to, to no, me, they that's ain't pro shoot that's, yeah, that's, that's pro propaganda. Propaganda. All day. They, they, we don't have anything. No, propaganda. We all don't day. have anything to match that. Think about that, man. If there was another entity or, or even. I'm telling you, it's not. It's not. Okay. We'll even say it. Uh, uh, ancient civilization, because that's what it is. Ancient civilization who lived on and left, because they left, they went up there, they're surviving up there, they left, they have the technology. People in Atlantis, they had technology, I'm just saying. Everything was about to You them. can't compare this to that, bro. It's got to be before that, then. 
because that was the most advanced civilization before the cataclysm before everything was destroyed technically first of all you you got to think so you, 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 you have to uneducate yourself you have to uneducate to educate yourself you have well, to, you have to uneducate you know that the fact that they say that all black people was brought over from Africa in the slave trade mm. but the truth is it's some black people that was here I agree and in my mind I can look at the black people and see which ones were brought from Africa and which ones was already here in my mind that's a good description that's pretty good you're good in my mind I can <laughs> that's good I mean all you have to do is look at the, the people that come from ain't no job out there for that you better go get that fucking job dog no no look <laughs> see you making a joke but what I'm saying is like <laughs> hey, I'm making a uh, joke. you making a joke but what I'm saying is like I could tell an Ethiopian when I see one I could tell a person that maybe from Nigeria or Ghana when I see one and I could take their you know the way they look what about Dominican Republic <laughs> You can see them, and, and they all, you know, they we all look similar to a degree, but you can see like features. Like, you could look at a person. That's and, close, though. You could look at a person and be like, you have features from this. You can say Somalia, but Haiti, too. Somalian, all, all. But those are different. The West Indies, but you could tell, like, you could look at people and tell. I don't know. People, That's people, you, I mean, and in a weird way, you know, you could, people be asked, they ask me, where am I from a lot? They ask me where I'm from. I'm like, I'm from here. I'm from Kinsman. I'm from <laughs> Union. Really? I'm, I'm from Cleveland. I'm here. You know, I was born here in Cleveland. People ask me where I'm from a lot. All I don't right? get that at all. <laughs> I don't get that at all. You get, you get that people don't believe that you white all the time. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> but what I'm saying is a person from Ghana can look at me and tell I'm not from Ghana. Right. Yeah. A, a well, person yeah, from, if you're from America, that's different. No, it's not. I'm no. I'm trying to tell you. You can look at. You can I think look if you're from America and you go out of, out of America, people could tell. I can show you an American friend of mine right now that looks like he ain't from here. Was he born here? Yes. Or well, he's from the family. He has a feature. It, it don't matter. Story, it don't though. matter though. That's a no. It's story. not a different story. That's it's a different, different story. It's the same thing. What I'm saying is, how's he act? <laughs> what do you mean? Does he does he act like like a normal American? What does a normal American act like? You know how a normal American act like. I don't. I think Just I, like I think I act like a yeah exactly. Yeah. And if we went out of town, if we went no, out of fucking state, it's not, state, it's not about. Out, I'm, out I'm out talking country, about from a visual. Somebody be like, yeah, that motherfucker is American all day. All right, I, how you move, they could tell, bro. How you move, they could tell. Okay, but listen, I can show you a picture of someone right now of a black woman, and you could tell she ain't from Kinsman. And Kinsman is a street in Cleveland, Ohio. Well, that's fucking specific. No, I'm just saying. She could be from Harvard. You can tell she's not from Harvard. <laughs> I can show you a picture right now. And you what can... I'm saying is that's silly. No, that's, it's not that's silly. Specific. No, it's not. It's, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Where is she from? In Cleveland? No. Where is she from? She's from Nigeria. Okay. Okay. I guarantee you might be like, she's from Nigeria. You can look at her and tell she's from Nigeria. Okay. So this is what I'm saying. Okay. This well, is, hold on. What I'm saying is, it, what I'm saying is you could look at people and tell their features. Not necessarily. You have that skill, apparently. I don't. You can look at a person and tell, like, a lot of us, a lot of black people have a lot of Asian features. A lot of Asians have... African features because if we all they this is where we came from from us everybody came from us but what I'm saying is and people don't get the concept of how a black person can look like a white person and I understand how that can albinos happen albinos all day <laughs> not, not necessarily albino but you could tell like you know like certain people got features like you could tell like a, a, a white person that came from London and England Mick Jagger and uh, Keith Richards you could tell they have a look to them like no other American For sure. Okay then. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> he, you, you you can't say. But not you necessarily. Can, it's not, not that. Has big lips. It ain't about big lips, Shout bro. Shout out to Miz. It ain't, it ain't about big lips or none of that. You can look at Mick Jagger. Is. No, it ain't. You can look at Mick Cause Jagger. No, because everyone talks about him like that. Okay, forget Mick Jagger's lips, bro. What about Keith Richards? Keith Richards. That's the guitar that. player from the Stones. Uh, when you think of the Stones, you instantly think of Mick Jagger and Keith Richards. Not necessarily. I don't think of Keith Richards at all because I don't know who he is. Okay. I know Mick Jagger. 
He could put him up. You could put him up. Forget his lips, man. Forget his lips. I'm talking about his looks. You could look at him, and ain't no white person in the United States that look like him. My buddy Mike does. Look like Mick Jagger? Yeah. You talking about his lips, man. <laughs> I ain't talking about his lips. I'm talking, Damn! I'm talking about the way his face is set up, his bone structure and everything. Okay, well, I just put up. And I'm talking about, like, you know, like, okay, um, like, what makes a, a British person look like? You could look at them and tell, like, for example, Prince Charles. Well, King Charles now. He has a look that looks like no American. Inbred. Regardless of that. <laughs> he has a look. He has a look that looks like no other white person here in America. Inbred. West Virginia. I ain't seen nobody from West Virginia look like none of the I royal bet family. you do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing people with these jokes. That's all. All right, we can tell jokes. You want to tell jokes? Let's tell jokes. Then. What do you want to tell? You want to tell jokes? Say jokes. Or you want to talk? You want to you want to talk about this, or you want to tell jokes? What you want to do? I mean, I could take it. I could go anywhere you want to go. I'm being serious, though, kinda. Let, the British family let's. looks like motherfuckers from West Virginia. Okay. That's facts. All right. Some people can say you look like you from West Virginia. Possibly. But you don't look like the British family. I have family down by there, probably. You don't look like the British family. You don't look like you, 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 you know, uh, TV No, because prophecy. their chins are just probably a little bit longer. And I don't have accents, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm Irish and Italian. I ain't fucking English. Kinda. I think I have a little bit of that in me. Who knows? I gotta do DNA in this bitch. 23 me, people. But then I'll have my DNA and clone me, and then you'll be here with somebody else. Yeah, his name is Tyler. <laughs> Good one. 100%. He ain't lying. Shit. 2.0 in this bitch. He looks better than me, people. He'd probably look way better on screen. I'm funnier, though. Sorry, I'm original. That's why I say you can't clone this. I'm original, man. You're not original. Your your military picture looks like the Don's picture. Yeah, you ain't. The lying. Don's your your I your military lying. picture look like your father's picture, his picture, and your military picture look like your son. Right. So you're, you're not that original, bro, bro. Yeah, so I am a remix of all my friends. You're a remix of your your father, father. probably your grandfather, and. It, <clears throat> I'm just saying, like, personality-wise... Reborn. Personality-wise, I, I got my dad and a lot of my friends mixed in. Plus a little bit of me. We were talking about, we were talking about like, a Lux? Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. It's been remixed on the line yeah. all day. Because, unfortunately, I was going to have his hair. I had to take care of that shit 20 years ago, thank God. I had to grow into this, people. You know what I'm saying? I'm a hairy mother sucker, except for... Probably was going to be right here. It was in my future. But I don't know. I took it off before that. I got the little Caesars little thing around my head going on here. Like the little. Is that what it would look like? Yeah, if I grew my hair, it would be like right here. So what's up, people? Hey, a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 no, no, no. No, no. By the end of the year. We were supposed to go hairless. No, no. No eyebrows, no facial hair. <laughs> no, we all flip it because that's too easy. No. By the end of the year. We were going to like powder <laughs> and I was going to look like Bill Dukes. No, by the end of the year. I was going to look like, you know you don't fucked up. If we subscribe, we <laughs> get a thousand subscribers. No, that's why you give them a time frame. By the end of the year. That's a long time. We took us fucking two years to get 300. By the end of the year, if we had a thousand subscribers, you have to grow your hair out, and I'll grow my hair out and see where we're at. And it'll cur curl around. I will have, like, a little... We'll look like Larry Curl and fucking Mo on this bitch without fucking Mo. Mm. Larry Curl and Mo without Mo? Yeah, because okay. Mo had the full head of hair, right? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Wasn't he? And, and his brother Chimp did, too, I think. Who's Curly? The one the fro? Curly had the bald head. He was whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, okay. And Mo was no, CB no. Mo with the curly hair. No, that was Larry. That's Daniel Myers. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to Daniel Myers. Shout out to Daniel Myers. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So okay. I got them all fucked up then. Yeah. All right. Okay. Because cool. they would grow out and puff out like that. <laughs> Maybe. This episode of the Midnight Pocket Podcast brought to you in part by the Acumen Paralegal Services. Help you help yourself the legal way. 
The services that they offer is they help with documents that need to be typed, guardianships, probate, divorce, wills and trusts, complaints, business organization, financial planning, and legal research and writing. Go ahead and give them a call at 216-727-0049 or 216-456-2000. Michelle White will get you right. That's right! Where can they find you at, man? You can find me at Just Full of Comedy on Instagram, people. And you can find me at the underscore great underscore C-O-R-E-E. That's where you can find me. Or you can find us both at the Midnight Paco Podcast. Thank you very much for tuning in. Yes, appreciate it. Thanks everybody. for everybody that came out to the shows. Don't forget to come out to this dude's show. It's yes. going to be off the chain. March 30th, please come check it out, people. We got Big Rich. You got me. You got Britton Grace and Chad Tate. Come check us out. Love you, everybody. Peace out. Peace. Midnight Paco, Midnight Paco Podcast, Midnight, 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 Midnight Paco, Midnight Paco Podcast, Midnight Paco, Midnight Paco Podcast.